There's a new mystery this morning surrounding the shipwreck that was discovered off the coast of Newfoundland a couple of months ago. Crews were able to bring in all of the ship's remains to shore. Now that it's been pulled from the water, people want to know what can be done with it. Residents want to move it to a permanent home at the Cape Ray Lighthouse, but that has challenges, including cost. Trevor Croft works with the Clean Harbors Initiative. That's a team that helped to pull and secure the vessel from the water. Uh, and we'll welcome Trevor to your morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Trevor, you were just with this ship on Monday. So where does she sit right now and how's she looking? Uh, well, right now she's up on the beach. She's uh, looking in pretty decent shape uh, considering. Yeah, what does that mean in decent shape? I understand it's in three pieces, is that right? Uh, it's in four pieces right now with some uh, some random pieces scattered around there. It washed up at 125 feet. Wow. Uh, with the way the surf has uh, been beating it around uh, over the last couple of months, it's uh, only about 80 or 90 feet uh, right now. So it's had some erosion. What kind of challenges logistically and financially are you facing right now with the ship's recovery and now this next phase of preservation? Well, uh, just the sheer weight of this uh, this shipwreck uh, was absolutely insane. We had two 30-ton excavators uh, trying to move this ship, and we cut a 30-foot section off at first to try to get them to move, and it was all the two 30-ton excavators could do to uh, to move the ship. So just the weight of uh, getting that moved alone off the out of the water to the beach was uh, was pretty extensive. Uh, as a financially, um, we're doing a lot of fundraising. We're selling tickets on the side by side, a chainsaw, a skidoo slide, pretty much everything that we can get donated to us, and anything we can purchase to sell tickets on in order to fundraise to get it moved uh, to the lighthouse. Uh, the lighthouse isn't very far away. It's just the fact that it's so heavy. Yeah, and so that's the real challenge: is, is the weight and also keeping it all intact. So, if you get it set up at the lighthouse, what are your plans for it there? Um, we'd like to construct a small spot at the lighthouse there so we can put it on display so people can come and uh, actually take a look at it, learn from it, and uh, learn like from the construction techniques and stuff, because this is not something that happens uh, here every day. So it would be nice to uh, show people, to educate people, and uh, just to have it as a little tourist attraction for the community. I mean, I think it's fascinating. You know, I, I know that there's, there are hundreds of shipwrecks, ships believed to have been wrecked off the coast of Newfoundland. And so to have one wash up on shore like this is really quite significant. However, there are some groups that are debating the significance of this ship, including the Historical Society, who says it doesn't hold any real significance. What's your response to that? Well, without knowing where it came from, what it was hauling, where it was going, how it wrecked, I mean... I don't understand how they can say that it doesn't have any historical significance when they have absolutely no idea any answers to the ship. So the fact that it washed up in an area which is all sand, I mean, as you probably know, Newfoundland is known as the rock. So, I mean, there's a lot of rock around. And any time a ship wrecks uh, anywhere there's rock, it usually gets beat apart mm -hmm. fairly, uh, fairly fast. So this washed up in an area which is all sand. So that's why it was preserved so much. So that's a fairly rare uh, so does it sell. I know, we still don't know all the stories that it has to tell us. If you guys can't raise the money, what's going to happen to her? Um, we will uh, continue working on raising the money to get it to the Lighthouse site. Um, the real challenge begins when we get it up to the Lighthouse site. Depending on the funding, that's how we're going to preserve it. Um, if we don't have funding, we're just going to have to uh, to leave it to the elements and let people learn from it um, until it uh, eventually disintegrates. If we can raise enough money through uh, donations, ticket sales, and government grants, we'll be able to build something around it to help preserve it a lot easier. Oh, Trevor, it's a magical story, and best of luck to you raising the money that it needs. It holds so many stories, and it was sitting under the water for so long. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. No problem. We're looking forward to getting you out in the water again and finding out what else is out there. All right. Keep, us in, keep in contact with us. Let us know how it goes. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.